Say. I am quite sorry for not being completely frank with you earlier. Though I became aware of it during our travels, I did not wish to believe that my old friend Ling Yuan would be the source of the storm that Buffett's chin fell. Um, I mean, I think I actually had an inkling already. Huh? You did? When? When did you figure it out? Remember the, um, the time uh, when um, when we first encountered her? Little Mao? Yeah. At that point, I already figured it out. And I think even before that. I think it was um, the first time we saw Little Mao. The markings on his face were dead giveaways that, yeah, might have might have had to do with um, Lin Juan. Yeah, she, her lord, and I once defended Shen Yu Vale together. I mean that she would do something so wicked. A disruption of the spirit veins has caused the miasma to pro propagate, and the one who's Stopped me from performing the right the first time was also her. It's his Fujin. Louis. I mean, Ling Yuan isn't a bad person. I know, little Mao. She's your friend. At this time, she is the greatest threat to Shen Yu Vale. If she controls this sacred mountain, she will wield the power to completely alter the land of Shen Yu Vale in the blink of an eye. I fear that Lin Yuan has already entered uh, Chiwon Terrace before us. She means to rewrite the flow and path of the spirit veins. We have little time left. Mul, you have mastered the adeptal energy available here in Chin Yuvel. Lin Yuan on, and her familiars will not be your match. So do you have do we have to fight her? Please accompany me for a time and aid me. For the sake of the people in Chinyu Vale, I will perform a, rit a ritual and open up the way to Chiwon uh, Terrace. Please stay by my side and protect me. Uh, if you say so. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. wait. I see everything. You think I will let you be? Illusion shattered. Oh brother! Oh, this is a uh, this is a something, I suppose. Oh, wait, wait. There is no escape. All right. Um. I uh. Stabilize. All righty. Now you shall perish. Okay. Uh, more. Um, can you heal us, by the way, Rina. <clears throat> Even though it's not quite much. I would like to be in my peak condition. Oh, hey, wait, 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 hey. Why won't you listen to me? Will you not wait? You did all these guys in this just moving? Ah, the strength is feeble. Do not match me. Not worry, we'll soon recover. And you won't. Say no more. The Moon Knight will stop you. We'll stop this plan to destroy Chin Yu Vale. The ritual is complete. The gate to Shiwan Terrace is now open. The world seems to spin for a moment, and when you open your eyes once more, you are already above the clouds. Above the clouds, you say?
Okay. Um. Seems like uh, Ryan for a spin with a uh, main G1. Okay, well, this is a boss battle. Yep. Yep, this is a boss battle. <laughs> when, uh, Ling Win I'm going to pronounce the name right. Uh, when uh, Ling Juan changes the direction of the spirit veins, my Asmich simulator will be continuously generated. These simulators will deal continuous damage to nearby characters. When Ling Juan is driving hydro or animal adapt tool energy, if there are any miasmic simulators still present, Ling Juan will gather them all as well to power up that attack. Use adapt tool energy to eliminate these simulator. If all miasmic simulators are eliminated before Ling Juan gathers all adapt tool energy, the spirit veins will be stabilized once more. Reviving all party members and granting them the protection of the spirit veins for a short duration. Alright. Well, let's go then. It's time. It's time. Um. Stabilize. Do this. What if. What if. I will have order. Do this. Everyone hold him. This Lord of the Sun and Jade. Shine down. Gather. Order guide you. Oh yeah. I see everything. Ouch. Strike a pose. Well, this is something. Tornadoes as well, huh? Oh, it seems like uh, you know what to do. Use your depth tool energy. Ow! Seizes this at once. Limo has already advanced. Let's just start this. This happening again. Just like back then. Just like back then. There is no escape. Okay. Um. What do you want? Human. Let me tell you what you shall do. Fire arrows with my heart. You approach up close. Strike me with your sword. I will fight you to the last. You are the only one here who can fight. When I have crushed your neck, I will triumph. Please. No! I mean, I, I, I don't intend to kill you. Why? I do not understand. Your Fujin's friend. Fine. Can you ask me one question? <laughs> but... Uh, you still really care about doing things like that? Even though you lost, huh? And okay, okay. Fair enough. Fair play. Um, Let us uh, just exchange questions then. Um, Little Mao? Do you have any questions? Um... Louis, why did you have to fight? Don't we all be friends? You bunch of two-legged. You for You have not the strength to form two legs of your own. Yet you wish to walk in their form and speak to me? How can the humans and wild beasts ever be That's not true, Louis. You're lying. If that's the case, why didn't you just let those beasts eat me back then? If humans and beasts can't be friends, and you're a beast, you shouldn't have helped me. 
My actions are sometimes beyond even my own understanding. You were merely fortunate. Well, why didn't you just eat mountain as well? She almost bumped into you while lost in the fart at the foot of the mountain. I saw it. You humans possess such wisdom that even nature submits to your will. In that case, you tell me. Why didn't I eat it? Huh? What kind of question is that? Mount Lightchen is dear to Adeptus Virgin. Let us just assume are correct. She has told me much about the range it right. Perhaps those, those memories affected my actions. I actually remembered everything I told you. Every year before the ride, you would tell me on that white snake how expectant you were and how nervous. And after the ride, you would tell us how the festivities were so fun and lively. You would always speak and I could not help but listen. Only humans forget. I forget nothing. You have cleared this doubt of mine. Now you may ask your question. Well, Adapt Sujin, have you any questions? Thank you, Lemo. Just a while back, Ling Yuan, I was telling them stories about our past. Why do you wish to wreck Chinuvel, which we once fought so hard to protect? We planted tea trees, promising to enjoy tea with us. This too, I remember. That sort of tea no longer exists. I want to change this land. I want to make it like it was all these, all those millennia ago. You have walked with humans for too long. You have forgotten that you, I, and the snake all came from nature. I knew that you never truly perished. And you did not depart this place like the snake. So, I wish to change this place to the form it had when you were born. All these years, I have been slowly adjusting the spirit. Oh, I get it. So that's where the miasma came from. Right. Side effects. In the end, the process will change the soil, the waters, the forests to what they should have been. So the miasma came about because of the change in the spirit veins. Because Ling Yuan wanted to wanted the soil, the waters and the forests to go back to what it was, what they were, um back during the Archon War. Or the calamity that happened in Conria. So, um, yeah, I don't know. What soil, waters, and forest should have been? You truly have forgotten the past. The rivers rose and fell with the rains, and their path was not fixed. The tea trees and flowers were not trimmed or cultivated, nor did they exist for humanity. In such an environment, you would regain your old form and frolic once more in the great rivers. You would regain your strength. Spiritual power blanketed the land in those days. The wild shrubs grew thick. Now, the mountains and forests are silent, and the shimmering voice of the spring waters, tinkling like jade, can be heard no longer. But you don't understand. You still think you must stop me. And you on. I count myself more blessed than most to have lived such a happy life. And in the end, my soul returned to my home. You are the one who does not understand. Yes. And I have never understood. After you defeated me, you should have taken my territory. You planted tea on my mountain and gave that land to the, to the humans. I do not understand why you did. 
Ginny Vale was once but a nameless land, and we were nameless insects, beasts, fish. I was the master of an uncultivated mountain. Today, that place belongs to neither of us. We took a human form and walked among them. You instituted the ranged rite and helped them change the soil and water. I did not understand then either. I could see how happy you were. The snake changed into your human form used her knowledge to free its medicines and save the sick. I could understand how the agile human fingers could help her do what she wished, but I do not know why it was done. What happened after caused me still more confusion. I fought alongside humans and their so-called gods. Perished. Humans fighting each other over territory and survival. Now that and understand. We both belong to the great river and the mountainous forests. Could have chosen to leave them and leave on with wait. Could have chosen to leave them live on with me. Let that which is human belong to them, and nature belong to nature. Even if our territory were to to shrink, we could still leave live really. But now you wish to stop me and defend this land subdued by humanity. Answer me. Why? Blame you on, friend. It is as you say. I do wish to protect them. Do not answer me with your own question. I was asking you why. This Lin Juan might be a beast. She sure cares about the order of things, huh? No. That's how I learned so much from her. You guys were just discussing stuff in the mouth. Well, not totally. That said, after hearing everything Bluey said about Bitsy's Fujin, I thought they'd be happy to meet each other. First, I was like you. I did not understand humanity and I did not enjoy their excessive demands, the love of hoarding, or their eternal desire to have more than they need while caring so little for the needy themselves. Trading. Wealth. I you, I did not understand these concepts, and did not understand why they influence human joy and sorrow. But across the long years, I have also seen many other things. The cries of children break my heart, and the sound of an old person's shattered memories saddened me, just as though it were all a microcosm of Mountains and rivers. Have you noticed them? Seen them? The children who wash their little feet in the streams? Fishermen laughing beneath the light of the rainbow's arch? The moonlight trysts of lovebirds? Their figures painted silver? Humans, too, are creatures of this land. How different is their innocence from ours? I mean to say... That you have chosen to take their side due to these emotions, not through natural principles or logic, not due to anyone's orders. I suspect that Herb Lord had much the same reasons as I. That said, I'm sure she'd put it all very differently. <laughs> I remain unsatisfied with your answer, Fujin. I do not understand. You not? I think you've understood for a long time. When our lord, our previous god, raised the waters, it was you who brought your familiars around to attend people and drive them to the shelters we had created. It just... I just wished to help my friends. Made their wishes reality. Even if doing so means going against nature and the principles you follow, even if it meant going against nature and the principles I follow, I would do so anyway. Well, then we aren't all that different now, are we? And you also choose your own position on the count of your feelings. I am satisfied with your answer, Fujin. Now you may ask me a 
may ask a question. Very well. May I ask the next question? No, Paimon? Oh, yeah, yeah, you asked your way. Do you please. Uh, Paimon can't really think of any good questions at the moment. If you've got one, go right ahead. You acknowledged my answer. Acknowledged me. And acknowledged that you made choices based on your own feelings. Now let me ask you. No, don't ask. You know what I'm going to ask you, right? If I needed your help, you still make the same choice. That's right. And what's your answer? Yes, I would. Even should another thousand years pass, even if you asked me a thousand more times, my answer would be the same. In that case, Lin Yuan, I do in fact need your help. I truly wish to save the people of Chinyu Vale. So please, don't stop me from nursing the water and soil, alright? I promise you, Fujin. I have walked with humans for much time and have learned their cunning. While I am but a foolish beast, my claws and teeth are sharp, but I am no match for you. Ain't you, Lin Yuan? And thank you, Limul, Paimon, and until now, you've accompanied me for so long, and you've helped me a lot. I wouldn't have made it here without you. I'm happy to have helped you, but sis. I'm so glad that Bluey got to meet you all, too. I was so worried when you thought... You also have my thanks, Mole. Mao. It was you who brought Fujin to me. Oh, the circumstances of the meeting were not what I hoped for. What about Paimon? Okay. Alright then, let us begin. 